Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this uh, Diophantine equation in positive integers. We have to find x and y both are positive integers such that they would satisfy this given equation. So if you would like to try it, give it a try. Otherwise pause the video and keep watching. So what we are going to do here, we will try to set a bound on y in terms of x therefore we will verify our, our the case and we will get our solution so let's see uh, first what I will do you see here Now we will try to simplify this like x plus 1 cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8 because I am writing x plus 1 therefore I have to subtract some term in order to balance so I will subtract uh, 3x square minus 3x minus 1 right and I'll get something like I'll get 5x square minus 9x plus 7 okay so let's simplify a bit so I can write x cube minus x plus 1 whole cube is equals to 5 x square minus 9 x plus 7 now if you notice here this is a quadratic equation and here if we analyze first coefficient of x square that is a is positive and discriminant d is also let's check what is the discriminant b square that is minus 9 square minus 4 a c so d is 8 so 4 5 j 20 27 j 140 and this is clearly negative so d is negative <clears throat> it means this quadratic equation is positive for all values of x and therefore this side must be positive it means it means y cube minus x plus 1 Q must be positive and y is greater than x plus 1 from this we can conclude now case number 2 we will do the same thing uh, but in a different way now what I will do this time we will take y cube is equals to x plus 3 whole cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8 and in order to balance I have to subtract whatever I have added that is minus 9x square minus 27x and minus 27 right so what will happen here now let's simplify x cube minus x plus 3 q must be equals to minus x square minus 33 x minus 90 and now just reverse this and we will get x plus 3 whole q minus y cube 
is equals to x square plus 33x plus 19. Now let's analyze this. So here, this is the quadratic equation where a is positive and if you calculate d is also positive it means this side must be positive right so it means x plus 3 q minus y q must be positive and after a simplification x plus 3 must be greater than y say this is equation 2 now if you see from equation 1 and 2 if we conclude then we will get that y is in between x plus 3 and x plus 1 and only thing it can be in between x plus 1 and x plus 3 is when y is x plus 2 so we have to substitute y equals to x plus 2 in our original equation let's do it so if so let's substitute y equals to x plus 2 if we do x plus 2 cube is equals to x cube 8 x square minus 6 x plus 8 so opening the bracket will when you open bracket and simplify both side some term will cancel out and we'll get x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 9 and therefore y equals to 2 or y equals to 11 these are the only solution we have in positive integer for this equation so that's it for today Thank you for watching. See you next time.